Hey guys, we're back with some more angle variation questions that are applicable to the uh, ACT math section. And they are also um, applicable to the um, SAT as well. You see these more on the ACT than what you do the SAT. And I've taken them from an ACT uh, various exams. Okay, I hope, I hope the videos that we've made on the previous two for angle variations help you. Um, this will be the last one for angle variations. And I hope it's gonna be helpful to you. One other thing before we get moving, uh, please uh, help us find those young adults who don't have any help outside of their school. So please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It would be very helpful to a lot of people. Okay, our first question wants to know what is the measure of angle DEB? So we're looking for angle E outside of the triangle. They give us some good information. We know that B is on AC and we know E is on DF and AC is parallel to DF. So that's great to know. And BE is congruent to BF. That's really the most helpful. BE and BF are congruent. So that means we've got a special type of triangle here where angles E and F are going to be the same. So how do we approach this? Let me get my pen tip set up. So easy way to do that is just extend EF out and BF, BF out. So therefore angle F out here is going to be 35, just like it is up there at B. So therefore, inside the triangle, we're going to have 35 degrees. Now, we got an isosceles triangle, right? So therefore, angle E on BEF is 35 degrees. Now we can get angle E outside of the triangle. So we'll take, um, change my pen tip, 180, subtract the 35. And when you do that, it's five, that's four, that's one. That's 145 degrees. And that's going to lead us to answer choice H. All right, next question. <clears throat> so the question really says, what is the measure of angle EFG? So we want uh, angle F up here at the top. We're looking for angle F up here. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so if we knew the angles E and G of triangle um, EFG, then um, it would help us get to angle F. To get angle G, we already have 100, 100 degrees outside of it. So therefore, we just need to go 80 more to get 180 total degrees. So we know inside here is 80. Now to get E, we got to start over here at angle C and work our way backwards. So we have 140 degrees already showing around angle C. We need 40 more to complete the 180. So angle C of triangle ABC is 40. So therefore, angle C here of triangle CDE is 40. Now, triangle CDE has a total of 80 plus 40, 120 degrees. So that implies angle E right here of triangle CDE must be... Well, 80 and 40 is 120, so we need 60 more. So E is 60 degrees. So therefore, angle E in triangle EFG is 60 degrees. So now we have 80 and 60 showing. That's 140 degrees. Subtract that from 180. And that leaves you 40. So angle F is going to be 40 degrees, which is going to be answer choice A.
next question. The question actually says, what is the degree measure of angle BCE? So we want, um, we want C right here. The neat thing is the hash marks on each of these lines indicate they're all the same length. So AD and BD are the same length. That implies angle A must be 25 degrees as well. Now we can take a total of that 50 degrees and subtract from 180, and we figure out that D is 130. If D is 130, then uh, D in triangle BCD has to be uh, 50 degrees. And since BD and BC are the same, angle C of BCD is 50 degrees. Now we can figure out angle C on the outside of the triangle. Just simply subtract 50 from 180, and that leaves you 130 degrees. And so our answer choice is J. All right, let's move on. Now this particular question says, what is the sum of X, Y, and Z? Well, X, Y, and Z are the angles on the outside of the triangle. So we got to figure out what those are. Let's do a little math here to keep everything straight. Let's start with angle Y. Well, up here, we already see that we have 72 degrees. So 180 minus 72, right? Uh, that's going to be an eight. It's going to be zero. It's going to be 108. So angle Y, angle Y is 108. Let me change my pen tip. Let me write it on there. So 108 degrees. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Let's go down to angle X. So angle X, we're already showing 57. So if we take 180 and subtract 57, we end up with uh, seven minus five is two, 123 degrees. So therefore, angle X is 123. Let me write it on there. Now we need to get Z. So we're gonna use, um, the angle 72 and 57, add those together. So 72 and 57, that's nine. Seven and five is 12, that's 129 degrees uh, that we're got showing. So 180 minus 129, that's gonna be one, seven minus two is a five, so 51 degrees. So inside the triangle, we have 51 degrees. Right here. Alrighty, so now you can, now you, now you can do the rest of the math, right? So 180 minus 51, nine, and then seven minus five is two, bring down our one. So angle Z is 129. All right, let me get that there for you. Now we know what all the angles are, and now we can answer the question. So we're gonna say, um, 108 plus 123 plus 129. When that's all added together, we're going to get 360 degrees. So therefore, adding angle Y, X, and Z together, we get 360 degrees, which is answer choice J. One more. 
Now, no, we got an isosceles trapezoid. That's important to know, isosceles. AB is parallel to DC. That's great. BDC measures 25 degrees. BCA measures 35 degrees. What is the measure of DBC? So we want to know what the measure is right here. We want to know what B is. Well, these are isosceles trapezoid. So um, the triangle with 25 degrees in it, this line and this line are the same length. So this will be 25 degrees. So we're showing 50. So 180 minus 50 leaves 130 right here. Well, since that's 130, the opposite angle is also 130. Now we need to find this angle right here that I got a double line drawn for. So uh, what we have right now is 260 showing. So 130 and 130 is 260. Let me change my pen tip. So 130 and 130 is 260. Now, 360 degrees around the center, right? 360 minus the 260 gives us 100 total degrees. We can split that in half. And we find out that our angle on um, the two side triangles is 50 degrees. So let me put that in there. So this is 50. And then this is 50. Now we can get to angle B by adding 50 and 35 and getting uh, 85. Now take 180, subtract the 85. This is five. So 17 minus eight uh, is nine, 95 degrees. So angle B there is 95 degrees and that is answer choice B as in boy. Yeah, B as in boy. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too fast. Um, for all of you guys studying for the ACT or the SAT or coming up in the next, next month, just a few weeks away, I wish you all the best. And uh, you can do it. Stay focused. Get help when you need it. And uh, when you take the test, go to the test. Sit there. Be determined. Stay focused on the test. Don't look back once it's done. Walk out and be done with it. Okay. Wishing you guys all the best. And please uh, like, share, and subscribe for us.